Hey, Dan from SquareTireRunning.com. Today is technically my rest day, um, so I'm just out here walking. Um, yesterday I didn't do exactly what I wanted to do for my the day, and we talked about that, about distractions and all that. Um, today's rest day, go and walk. Tomorrow's gonna be some fart legs. Uh, probably I'll do that just sort of by my house. Um, run. Uh, block, walk a block, front of the block, walk a block. Uh, I'm gonna get around this bend and I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right, sorry about that. There was a truck backing up starting and stuff. I didn't want all that noise. Um, it was pretty loud. <sighs> Yesterday we talked about distractions and this isn't really a distraction, but time. And that's what I wanna talk about today. Uh, when do you fit in the time to come out here and work? Um, for me, it's very hard to do that. And I got a car coming, so I'll catch you guys in a second. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll get to finish this video today. Did you check out that hyperlapse? Um, I know it was really short, but in the beginning, isn't that kind of cool? I want to play around with that more um, and see how I can use those in the videos or running or whatnot, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I thought it was kind of cool. It's a new option on my phone and we got another car. Oh my goodness gracious. But where do we find time? Like for myself, I am at work easily 10 to 14 hours a day. Then I have, um, I live about half an hour away, so half an hour in the morning half an hour at night so that's you know it's late and more <laughs> okay this is ridiculous now i don't know where that video cut off i had a phone call coming in and i rejected it and then a bunch of things popped up um and so forth and pandora started playing again but where do you find time i got 10 to 14 hours a day plus an hour and driving time. So that means I'm gonna get home, I need to get dinner. Uh, I need to get my kids dinner, my boys dinner. Um, so as you can see, it's starting to get really late out and I've only not even been out here for a half an hour yet. For somebody my size, my slowness, it takes a while to get distance. And I wanna hit you up in a second again. All right. I went down this dirt path, this dirt road that kind of does a loop. I mean, there's a dog park right there, but there's not much around this loop. Like an old baseball diamond. So I was figure out, gives me some time and not too many people will be on because this path can get really crowded. I couldn't believe how many times I had to stop this video, but where do I find the time? So working, coming here out late, big guys, it takes time. I want to do the miles. I can do the miles. I just don't have time. I can't move fast enough to get the 10 to 20 miles uh, in the evening or even five miles is gonna be tough. I mean, if I'm walking, yeah, okay, yeah, you should be running. Even if I'm running, and I'm running 11 minute miles. Yeah, I know that's slow. Okay, let's do all 10 minute miles, make it easy. 10 minute miles is, is kind of what they say is your average, what anybody should be able to do. I don't know if that's true because it's been a while since I've been able to do it. And we got more people. Okay, hi. So 10 minute miles. Okay, so three miles, 30 minutes. Six miles, 60 minutes. Okay, that's only a 10K. I mean, 10, mi 10 miles, even at that pace, you can keep it up. Talking about 100 minutes. Now you're talking about over almost a little over an hour and a half. 
I don't have an hour and a half. And I can't go that pace right now. So, I want to finish this because, guys, I'm a little bum. It's getting nighttime, and people keep interrupting me as they're walking by or riding by and stuff. So, every step counts.